The Dubai Air Show, November 2025. The world's aviation elite have gathered under the blazing desert sun, where the future of flight is unveiled before a global audience. The air is electric with anticipation, as industry leaders, airline executives, and aviation enthusiasts from every continent await the next big reveal. Amidst the thunder of Boeing and Airbus, a new silhouette slices through the sky, the C919, China's first large passenger jet making its international flying debut. Its engines roar above the crowd, drawing every eye upward. For many, this is their first glimpse of a jet that has been the talk of the industry for years, but until now, has never left Chinese skies. This isn't just a flashy airshow stunt, it's China's bold declaration. After decades of development, we're ready to challenge the Western aviation giants. The c 9 1ts presence here is a statement of ambition, innovation, and a desire to rewrite the rules of global aviation. For years, the C919 was a domestic project, a symbol of national pride and technological progress. Built by Comac, it represented China's determination to break free from reliance on foreign aircraft and to master the complexities of modern aviation. Now, Comac is showcasing it to the world, targeting buyers frustrated by Boeing and Airbus delays. International airlines, eager for alternatives, are taking notice. The C919 is no longer just a Chinese story. It's a global contender, and its arrival couldn't be more timely. The timing is perfect, airlines need new planes, and China is offering a ready-to-order alternative. With supply chain issues and backlogs plaguing the established giants, the C919's availability is a breath of fresh air for carriers desperate to expand or renew their fleets. Industry analysts are already speculating about the impact. Will the C919 disrupt the duopoly? Can Comac deliver on its promises and meet international standards? The questions are as big as the jet itself. Two C919s and a C909 business jet on display signal Comac's serious intent to become a global force. The lineup is more than a showcase, it's a challenge to the status quo, inviting the world to imagine a new future for air travel. As the C919 completes its flawless display, the world wonders, are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in aviation? The answer for now is up in the air, but one thing is certain, the skies just got a lot more interesting. The C919 was born from a simple ambition, to put China on the map as a true aviation superpower. For decades China's airlines depended on foreign-made jets, but the country's leaders envisioned a future where Chinese skies would be filled with homegrown aircraft, designed and built by Chinese hands. This vision was about more than just pride, it was about control, security, and the ability to shape the nation's destiny in the air. China wanted to build its own large passenger jet and end its reliance on Western technology. The goal was to master every step of the process, from design to manufacturing, and to train a new generation of aerospace engineers who could compete with the best in the world. Despite being a manufacturing powerhouse, China's skies were dominated by Boeing and Airbus, an economic and strategic vulnerability. Every new jet purchased meant more money and influence flowing overseas, and less control over the technology that keeps the country moving. In 2008, Comac was formed with a clear mission, design and build a jet to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. This was a bold move, signaling China's intent to challenge the global duopoly and create a new player in the commercial aviation market. The C919 isn't about revolutionary tech, it's about strategic independence and building a domestic aerospace ecosystem. By developing its own supply chains and nurturing local talent, China hopes to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and foster innovation at home. With seating for up to 192 passengers, the C919 is aimed squarely at the world's busiest short and medium haul routes. It's designed to meet the needs of both Chinese airlines and international carriers looking for a reliable, cost-effective alternative. Comac promises lower costs and fuel efficiency, appealing to airlines in developing markets. The company hopes the C919 will open doors for Chinese aviation exports and help establish China as a major force in global air travel. The C919 is a flying symbol of China's drive for self-sufficiency and a new industrial order. It represents not just an aircraft, 
but a bold step toward technological independence and a future where China sets its own course in the skies. Building the C919 was a marathon, an ambitious project that would test the limits of China's aviation industry and its determination to compete on the world stage. The journey was filled with challenges, setbacks, and moments of triumph, all driven by a vision to create a homegrown jetliner that could rival the best in the world. After COMAX founding in 2008, it took nearly a decade of relentless effort to design and develop the jet. Teams of engineers worked around the clock, pouring over blueprints and prototypes, determined to bring the C919 to life. Every step forward was a testament to their dedication and the nation's commitment to innovation. While the airframe is proudly Chinese, critical systems, like the engines, avionics, and landing gear, were sourced from leading Western suppliers such as CFM International and Honeywell. This blend of domestic ingenuity and international expertise was essential to ensure the C919 met global safety and performance standards. The first prototype was finally unveiled in 2015, a moment that captured the attention of the world. Yet the road to flight was far from over. The maiden flight wouldn't take place until May 2017, after years of rigorous ground testing and fine-tuning. Six test aircraft took to the skies, flying thousands of hours in a demanding certification process. Each flight was meticulously monitored, with pilots and engineers working together to ensure the aircraft met the highest safety standards. This exhaustive testing phase was crucial, culminating in Chinese certification in 2022. In December 2022, China Eastern Airlines proudly received the first C919, marking a historic milestone. By May 2023, the jet began commercial flights, signaling the start of a new era for Chinese aviation and offering passengers a new choice in the skies. Since then, the C919 has carried over 2 million passengers, serving mostly on busy domestic routes. Each flight not only connects cities, but also represents a leap forward for China's aerospace ambitions, building trust and recognition among travelers. Its first international route, from Beijing to Hong Kong, marked a symbolic step outward, showcasing the C919's readiness to serve beyond China's borders and hinting at its future on the global stage. This careful, methodical rollout has allowed COMAC and its partners to build valuable operational experience, laying a strong foundation for the C919's global ambitions and the next chapter in China's aviation story. The C919's home turf is China, flying for Air China China Eastern and China Southern on major domestic routes. This strategy lets COMAC monitor performance and build a safety record before expanding abroad. Passengers describe the C919 as modern and comfortable, similar to its Western rivals. Its first international service, Beijing to Hong Kong, was a high-profile move, proving it can handle complex airports. COMAC is now targeting Asia and Belt and Road countries, where aviation demand is rising and political ties are strong. Appearances at air shows in Singapore and Dubai are part of a calculated push for international recognition. The Middle East, with its appetite for new jets, is the next big target. COMAC boasts over 1,000 C919 orders, but most are from Chinese airlines and leasing companies. The big three, Air China, China Eastern, and China Southern, anchor the order book, ensuring steady production. Leasing firms help place jets with smaller airlines, both in China and potentially abroad. The first international breakthrough came in 2023, when Brunei's Gallup Air ordered 15 C919s. This deal is a template for future sales in Southeast Asia and other politically aligned regions. The Middle East and Russia are next on COMAX radar, with the Dubai Air Show a key marketing moment. Even Boeing and Airbus acknowledge COMAX as a real competitor. The C919's global journey is just beginning, one politically friendly customer at a time. The C919's biggest barrier isn't technology, it's certification. Without approval from Europe's ESA or the US FAA, the jet can't fly for Western Airlines. COMAC has applied for ESA validation, but the process is slow and complicated by geopolitics. Instead, China is pivoting to alternative markets, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Latin America, where CAC certification is accepted or easily validated. Many of these countries are part of the Belt and Road Initiative and welcome Chinese investment. By building a parallel aviation ecosystem, China is challenging Western regulatory dominance. The C919's success may redefine not just who builds planes, but who sets the rules. It's a bold move that could reshape the global aviation map. 
With Western doors closed, COMAC is forging new alliances in Belt and Road countries. For these nations, buying the C919 is both a business and political decision, deepening ties with China. The Middle East is a key battleground with fast-growing airlines and huge demand for new jets. COMAX Pitch, a modern aircraft, competitive price and attractive financing, bundled with Chinese trade and investment. Russia, isolated from Western aerospace, is another natural partner. Sharing China's goal of breaking the Boeing Airbus grip, this strategy won't topple the duopoly overnight, but it's building a new aviation network, one deal at a time. The C-91T's future may be written in Jakarta, Cairo and Riyadh. Not just London or New York. Can the C919 really threaten Boeing and Airbus? Not immediately, but it's the most serious challenge in decades. The C919 puts price pressure on the duopoly, especially in Asia and the Middle East. Major hurdles remain Comac relies on Western engines and avionics, making it vulnerable to export restrictions. Production rates lag far behind the established giants, and global certification is still out of reach. Yet, frustration with Boeing and Airbus delays is growing and airlines are hungry for alternatives. For some countries, the C919 is a strategic choice to diversify partnerships. The real impact may be gradual, chipping away at the duopoly's dominance from the edges. The C919's rise is forcing the industry to adapt, and that alone is a seismic shift. After its Dubai debut, the C919 faces a critical test, ramping up production and delivering on its backlog. Each new international order, no matter how small, builds momentum and credibility. Comac is already planning a stretched C919 to compete with the Airbus A321neo and Boeing 737 MAX 10. The ultimate goal technological independence, especially in jet engines, to insulate against geopolitical risks. Achieving this would transform China into a true aerospace powerhouse. The C919's journey is a marathon, not a sprint, reshaping alliances, competition, and the future of flight. As the world watches, one question remains. Are you ready to fly on a new generation of aircraft made in China?